What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Alex, and you are coming along with me for my Christmas shopping today. I am about to run into Home Goods and uh, TJ Maxx. So they're both right next to each other, so it's super convenient. But today, for the most part, I've finished my Christmas shopping. I did a lot of shopping online just so that it's a lot easier and less chaotic with the holiday season and having to shop and especially during COVID. I've done most of my Christmas shopping online. Today I'm just going to be going in. I have to get some gift wrap um, and I'm looking for last minute like home decorations for Christmas because my family is planning to celebrate Christmas at my apartment for the first time this year. So I'm super excited to have them over and I want the place to look really festive and really cute. So um, you guys are going to be coming along with me for the journey today. I am again looking for last minute like stocking stuffers and i want to find some stockings period because the ones that i have i'm not really a huge fan of they don't really fit my theme of decor in the house right now so yeah we're gonna look around and see what we find today in home goods and tj maxx so let's begin <music> I'm looking for like a golden light thing. Just golden light. Maybe even a little bit of silver. I might have to go individual though. I got these two frames. But the cute they go for my bedroom. So I got it because this wood matches the wood from my mirror. So Trying to keep up the front house All right, y'all. So I didn't have much luck. I got a few things from Marshalls. I'm not Marshalls, Home Goods, which I will share with you when I get home. I'm on my way now to go pick up my nephew. Um, and then I will be home shortly. So stay tuned to find out what I got. And I'm sorry, I'm just looking at these people on the roof. I don't know if you can see this. I was very confused. But um, yeah, so. So I'll see you guys when I get home and show you guys what I was able to purchase. This is one of the things that I bought from Home Goods. This really cute silver reindeer. I felt like it was gonna go along well with my uh, Christmas theme that I have here, which I know you guys are probably wondering what the hell the rest of my decor looks like, but if you follow me on IG, you should have already seen it. Um, for the purpose of me trying to film my intro tomorrow, I am not going to show you guys fully what my tree looks like so just stay tuned for the next vlogmas video to see that um another thing that just came in the mail are these really awesome candle holders that i got from amazon i ordered so very glitz and glam i'm trying to incorporate a glam styled living room um so don't pay attention to this because this is going to be hung somewhere else in the house it's just here for now but yeah, I'm trying to, as you can see, incorporate this beautiful glammed out style. So this is one of the buys that I got. To show you guys also another great thing that came in the mail. Um, I have this habit of tying my curtains together just to let some sun in. So I really, really, really needed these. And again, tying into the glam style theme, it just, it was a beautiful buy. Got it from Amazon. Pretty cheap, came with a pack of two and I got two packs. So another great buy that I bought from Home Goods, and it's just a beautiful picture frame, but I bought it with this nice oak beige type of um, wood because again, with my bedroom, I am going farm farmhouse style. So I thought it would really be good to bring out more wooden accents, right? And if you guys remember from one of my past videos, I have, excuse the mess right now, but um, I have this uh, beige type of wooden style mirror in my room. So I felt like the picture frames were gonna bring out that light wood accent um, and go really well. And my plan is to place it on this empty wall because I do have this, this big old space. I have these two windows here. And initially I wanted to put my bed here, but it stuck out way too far. So I ended up putting my bed against that wall. 
So I figured the picture frames would look really nice. I bought two of them. So I will show you once I hang them up. So I officially hung the, um, the picture frames. I do have to go and get my pictures for them. I am going to put in a, an order at the store so that I can pick them up tomorrow and actually add them to the frame. But for now, I just wanted to see if the placement was good and I think that it was great. So I'm gonna keep it like that just for now. Again, ignore the mess. Um, but yeah, so my plan for this room, this room is gonna change dramatically. I wanna get rid of these dressers here and get just one dresser. Um, so my plan is to hopefully be able to move this out of the way with the one dresser, have one dresser here, put my uh, vanity right here, and then have a lot more space in here and have it look less crowded. Um, and then again, have my window view back because I'm not a fan of that at all. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys how it looks, I think it looks so perfect. Like it blends with my curtains perfectly. And again, it matches that beige tone of the mirror. So once that's hung up, it's just, it's gonna be a really great look. Glitz and Glam blanket that I bought also from Home Goods. It's in a white color. It's literally pure white. Um, if you guys can see up close, I know the lighting isn't the greatest, but yeah, I bought this super cheap, $16.99 from Home Goods as well. I bought this blanket because I finally, after so many months of waiting, guys, I'm so excited. My couch is finally arriving this Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday. So I'm super excited and now I'm like, so hell bent on finding as many accessories as I can to like coordinate with the couch. So I'm just super, super, super excited. Um, so that's why I got that blanket so that I can just throw the blanket on it. Um, my couch is gonna be gray. Again, I'm trying to keep up with that glam theme. So my living room theme is gonna be white, silver, silver gray, um, and accents of black. So, we shall see how this works, how it comes out. I'm a little nervous because when I initially bought my couch, I was so like hell bent on getting, oops. I was so hell bent on, I don't know if you guys ever seen pictures of the gray home. I'll insert some pictures here. Um, but basically the gray home, it's so beautiful. It's very glammed out, gray and white accents. You'll see some silver here and there, some black here and there. Um, but I just fell in love with this style of home and decor. And because of it, when I moved into this apartment, the first thing that I wanted to do was incorporate that into my living room. Um, but now that I've had time to wait for it, because I've literally been waiting for on Monday, it'll be 14 weeks that I've been waiting for this couch. You know, having 14 weeks to literally sit in this apartment and think about what my house looks like, what it could look like. I've literally been struggling because I felt like my couch might not go anymore because I have accents of beige because of the floor, the tiling. Let me show you guys. So I have this really cool like beige style tile on the floor and because of it, I'm like, I don't know if my couch is gonna match it and it's gonna look nice with it. Um, and I know that in the long run, my couch is going to be, when I get my real like home where I'm able to be there long term, my dream home is going to incorporate that color. So the couch is gonna be perfect. It might not be perfect right now for this apartment, but later down the line, it's gonna be perfect for whatever other setting I choose to move in after this apartment. So, um, either way, I'm I'm just I'm really excited to have a couch and not like right now I have I have two beds because I got a new bed um, while I was moving here. So I have one bed, my old bed, set up in my bedroom, and my new bed set up in the living room just to have a space to sit and relax in the living room. I'm just really excited to be able to put everything into my bedroom. Um, I'm probably gonna do that this weekend since the couch is coming on Tuesday. And yeah, I'm just excited. I'm excited to get a couch and to have a real, real living room. Um, so yeah, so that's where we are. And that's why I got this throw blanket. I know this is a very long explanation 
to why I got a freaking throw blanket, but um, I just wanted to share life updates, you know, things happen, and this is the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to right now, other than Christmas, so yeah. Sadly, I did not find any, um, what's it called? I didn't find any wrapping paper that I liked. Um, as you guys saw by the clip earlier, the wrapping paper just wasn't my steez. Like, I want something gold and white. I don't want it rose gold and white, or I want silver and white, and it just, nothing was really popping for me, so. Um, I'm probably gonna take a trip to Target hopefully this weekend sometime so that I can begin wrapping presents and once I do wrap presents I will show you guys my process because I'm trying something new this year so I'm excited about it uh, because I was unable to get the wrap uh, this is gonna be the end of the video so thank you guys so much for tuning in and spending the day with me taking the trip to home goods and to TJ Maxx. I love you guys and get ready for a really fun filled weekend because I have a lot of great content that's planned so stay tuned. Peace.